Hello, and welcome to another screencast in the SQL Server 2008 Did You Know series. My name is Aaron Lowe, I'm a Magenic Senior Consultant out of the Chicago office, and today we're going to take a look at the SQL Server 2008 Transact SQL Debugger. This demonstration will be using the SQL Server 2008 Release Candidate 0. As you may or may not remember, in SQL 2000's Query Analyzer, we were able to debug stored procedures. You would right-click on the stored procedure, and a dialog box would pop up asking you for the parameter values, and then you'd be able to step through the stored procedure. This functionality was taken out of the SQL Server installation in 2005, and they have brought this back in 2008 due to overwhelming demand. Now remember, SQL Management Studio is just a Visual Studio shell. As a result, the debugging is very similar to Visual Studio's. So if you've done debugging in Visual Studio, you'll be comfortable debugging in Management Studio as well. So to demonstrate the Transact SQL Debugger, let's go ahead and create a test database called TestDB. Use it. Create a table here. The table is going to contain a first name, a last name, as well as an identity field. Insert a row into here. First name, last name of John Doe and then create a procedure that will update. It'll take an old first name, the old last name, as well as the new first name and new last name. It'll grab the identity field, and then it will update the table person with the new, f the new first name and new last name using the identity field. And I'll just return the row count. So, just to verify that it's there, there we go. Alrighty, so now, Let's use that test DB. Now let's declare some variables here. This shows a new feature of 2008 where we can actually declare variables and set their value on the same line now. We'll execute that update procedure. And then if the return value is zero, it was unsuccessful, so it was successful, and we'll actually grab the, the table as well just to verify that. So we run it, it was unsuccessful. First name John, last name Doe where we were actually trying to set it to Aaron Low. So let's figure out what's going on here. So let's go ahead and set a breakpoint here. You start the debugger by going here, as well as the menu here. So now that we're in the debugger, you'll see that all the windows comes up, the call stack, breakpoint, command window and output, as well as your local and watch window. You can control flow here, as well as here. So we're just going to go line by line here. So we're going to declare the variables. Old John Doe, new Aaron Lowe. We're going to execute the store procedure here. I'll bring up another tab. So I'll actually bring up the store procedure. Again, going line by line. See that we've actually got the call stack where the person update was called with those variables. So we're selecting the primary key based upon the old first name and the old last name. Oh, what's this line doing here? We're actually incrementing primary key. This again shows another new feature of 2008 where we can do the plus equals or the minus equals. And then we're updating and returning the row count. Obviously the row count is going to be zero because there is no ID two. So let's just go ahead and finish that out. Now we need to alter that store procedure. Well, where is that store procedure? Well, it's in test database. And maybe we have a bunch of store procedures here, so let's actually just search for it. This again shows a new feature of 2008 where we actually are able to search for objects. And there it is. Synchronize. There it is. So we'll script and alter. You can now script a drop in and create, but we're just going to script and alter the new query window move the offending line execute move the breakpoint execute again and now it's successful it returns error and law I hope you enjoyed this overview of the Transact SQL Debugger in SQL Server 2008 and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this screencast